Ever had your car randomly shift gears or stall out at the worst possible moment? Annoying, right? The culprit might just be a small but mighty device called the Digital Transmission Range Sensor. Yup, this tiny sensor is critical to your car's sanity. It tells the computer what gear you're in, keeps shifting smooth, and can even save you a trip to the shop if you know what to look for. So stick around, because we're breaking down everything you need to know about this sensor in our 26th video in the series, playlist link in the description. Alright, let's dive in. The Digital Transmission Range Sensor, sometimes called the Transmission Range Sensor, TRS, Neutral Safety Switch, or PRNDL Switch, does one main thing, it tells your car's computer which gear you've selected, so the car knows exactly when to engage and switch gears. Think of it as the gearbox translator between your shift lever and your car's brain. Here's how it works. The sensor is typically located on the transmission housing and is connected to the gear shifter. Inside the sensor, tiny switches or circuits open or close depending on which gear you select. Each gear has a unique electrical signal. So, when you shift from park to drive, the sensor sends a different binary code, or voltage, to the transmission control module, TCM, or powertrain control module, PCM. Engaging the correct gear, the computer reads this code, verifies it, and signals the transmission to engage the right gear. Without this code, your car might be clueless about its own gear, leading to rough shifting or even stalling out. Now, what happens when this little guy acts up? Here are the biggest symptoms. Delayed or erratic shifting. Check engine light lighting up. Gear indicator issues. Stalling or the engine not starting in certain gears. Diagnosing it can be as simple as using a diagnostic scanner to check for error codes like P0705, we'll get into that later. Replacing the digital transmission range sensor isn't rocket science, but it does require a few steps. Here's a quick guide. Disconnect the battery to prevent any surprises. Locate the sensor on the transmission, check your manual, as it varies by vehicle. Unplug the sensor's electrical connector and unscrew it from the transmission housing. Install the new sensor in reverse order and reconnect the battery. And you're done. Just remember to check for the P0705 code before and after, so you're certain the fix worked. 705 code means the car can't read the sensor's signal, usually due to corrosion, wiring issues, or the sensor itself going bad. The solution? Start with a good cleaning of the sensor's contacts. If that doesn't help, inspect the wiring or, worst case, replace the sensor. Where you'll find the transmission range sensor varies by car. For example, in most Ford models, it's near the base of the shifter on the transmission housing. For Toyota models, you might find it closer to the shift lever itself. A quick online search or your vehicle's manual can help you pinpoint it. So how do you know if it's the sensor that's failing? Keep an eye out for sudden check engine light activation, inconsistent gear shifting, difficulty starting the vehicle in specific gears, gear indicator errors. Any one of these symptoms is a good reason to inspect or replace the sensor. And lastly, let's talk wiring. Often, a sensor that fails might actually have perfect wiring but corroded connections. Check for any loose connections, broken wires, or even corrosion at the connector. A quick multimeter test can help verify if the issue is with the sensor or the wiring. And that's a wrap on the digital transmission range sensor. Think of it as the peacekeeper in your car's transmission, ensuring smooth rides and keeping your car's computer in sync with your shift decisions.